Hello, my name is Kasia Pietrzak and uh, I would like to say a few words about the measures of our isolation cages. So uh, when you receive the non-standard uh, frame, uh, how we estimate what size should the isolator be, what to pay attention to, how to measure it and some technical uh, issues. So first thing we need to know uh, what should be the wires facing in the isolation cage? Because there are two options. Most of them is uh, the queen excluder space, which is around 4.3 millimeters. And the purpose for such isolation cage is to uh, isolate just the queen bee. So the queen is usually inside, she cannot escape, but the workers bee, worker bees can go in and out uh, to feed her. The other uh, option, is the queen introduction cage. It looks almost the same, however the spacing between the wires here uh, is much smaller. It's around 3.25 millimeters and this is, as the name is saying, queen introduction cage, which means that you can introduce the new queen to the existing hive. And the queen cannot escape, but also the worker bees cannot go inside to attack the, the new queen. So this is the first thing we need to know about the isolation cage. The second thing is the size of the frame. We have here uh, a frame of uh, Wielkopolski hive. It's actually the standard, but let's assume this is not a standard frame. We need to have the measure of the whole frame. So how wide it is, how tall it is, how long is the top bar and also how thick is the top bar. It's usually 10 millimeters, but it can happen it has eight millimeters or so. So we should also know this, uh, this information. Now, when you look how the frame fits inside the hive, you see there is a space. There's usually some space here. So there is some uh, tolerance. Contrary to this example, this is uh, US Dadan. Here you see also the frame, but here there's such a minimum, minimum space. It's also important when you um, design the cover lid for the isolation cage. So we will come back to it later. So what we need to think of is that the frame will fit inside of the cage. That's one thing but also the cage will have to fit inside the hive. So the size of the isolator must be between frame and the, the, and the size of the box. Normally what we do, we add one centimeter to the, frame of, to the size of the frame and we also add one centimeter to the height of the frame. The important is that when you look on the frame, on the bottom, between the frame and the bottom of the isolation cage, there should be the space of minimum 4.5 or 5 millimeters so the queens can, can go around the frame. So, as I said, the frame has to fit inside the box. So when we measure the isolation cage, we should also test whether it fits inside. Now, the isolation cage has supporting ears. This is uh, the, the part that the cage is hanging inside the hive. Normally, we design that the supporting ears are the same long like the top bar of the frame. So when we hand in inside, we see that it can fit easily in this uh, hanging space. And here comes another step because we need to also design the cover lid. We usually have a standard cover lid, and this is, let's say, 95% of what we uh, deliver. It's closed from just two edges. Here, you will see it open. When you put it on the isolation cage like this, you might think that there's a hole, but this hole will close itself when you hang the whole construction in the hide. Look at this. Here, I close it and there is a really minimum space, so the queen bee cannot escape. Here and here is around two millimeters, and that's enough. The other cover is closed from all sides. It's closed like this. So when you put it on, it's automatically closed. 
However, what you have to remember in this example, we can use this kind of cover. This is a very tight space. We will put it on, everything is closed. However, you can have this kind of cover and it will not fit inside of this hive because there is such a small space that you cannot squeeze it in. So when we design the isolation cage, we also need to bear in mind uh, not only how wide is here, but also how wide is here. So we can fit or we cannot fit the cover lid closed from all sides. And that's basically it. We add one centimeter to the tall, uh, how tall is isolator. We need, we add usually one centimeter how wide and we need to design the cover lid. The other thing is material. This material is a standard one. This is, let's say, almost all the isolation cages we do from the galvanized steel. This is a quality galvanized steel, but this is also possible to make it from alu-zinc uh, alu uh, coating. And that's what I wanted to say about the, how we measure the isolation cage and how we design it for the hive. Thank you very much.